your boy, Goji. And you may notice that there is a good stack of boxes behind me. Two of them, in fact. And that is not a coincidence. Because today, I'm going to explain why boxes are the greatest and also the worst thing. I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna talk about boxes for 20 minutes. Okay, so boxes. I know a lot about boxes. I've been around boxes my entire life, okay? I know the ins and outs of a box, okay? I've been in boxes. I've lived in boxes. I've moved boxes. I've carried boxes. I've taken one box to another place. I've put in a box inside of another box. I'm talking, okay? I'm talking big boxes. Big box. Tiny boxes. Plastic boxes. Shit, even wooden boxes. And I won't even, I don't even stop there. I even move plastic boxes. Chew boxes. I've even moved boxes of all kinds of colors. Look, watch. See, look, we got black boxes with yellow lids, okay? We got white boxes, blue boxes, green boxes, white boxes, brown boxes. Thing that looks like a box but isn't. It's a paper box. Shit, sometimes when you're rich, you can afford boxes with doors. You see, the thing about boxes is the box is like an empty form of a cube, right? A six-sided, you know, like six sides of squares put together at the corners. And that's a cube. Now, the thing about a box is that it can be any size and shape that you want, as mentioned previously. But you can also put things inside of it, whether they be cubes or not. You may be thinking, Goji, not everything is a cube, and let me tell you, this here, okay, this is a cube. Oh, I did have Star Wars. Okay. This is not a cube, okay? It has six sides, but it is not a cube. It is a rectangular prism, and it's... And if we were to take these three out, it's a box. I meant to bring up the fact that all rectangles are squares, but squares are not rectangles. Ah! And now I'm going to put these back. I'll probably watch those at a later date. Now the thing is, I like boxes, okay? Boxes are notorious for being full of either absolutely nothing, like this box, or just for being either filled with absolutely nothing, or or even filled with a whole load of shit. This one's full of Christmas stuff. Another reason I like boxes is, is because they are very easy to stack. You see this? One box, two box, three box, four. Look to the right and you see many more. You know, I like to propose a theory real quick called Schrodinger's box, okay? If Okay, like Schrodinger's cat, right? There is, you put a cat in a box with a vial of poison. The, the cat is both dead and alive, depending on whether, before you even open up the box, alright? And that's because you don't know whether or not the cat is dead or alive. So therefore, it is both. But, with a box, right? Take this box. If we got this box, right? We do not know conclusive, actually, wait, no. I need a box with a lid. So with this box right here, right, I demonstrated earlier on accident. We do not know whether or not this box is filled or if it's empty. And I call that Schrodinger's box, okay? I mean, if you don't touch it, you don't look at it, it is constantly in a state of both being filled and not being filled at all. And while boxes are amazing, there is actually bad properties to the box. Because you don't know what the fuck you can put in a box. As long as it fits, you can put anything into a box. That's where we got the story of Pandora's box, okay? Because boxes are powerful. See, I forgot who Pandora was, but basically someone opened up a box and all the evil in the world, you know, came out of that box. But at the same time, you can fill a box with all the good shit in life, okay? You got boxes full of food, you got boxes full of drinks, you got boxes full of health supplies, you got boxes full of... Fuck, um... Dogs... And puppies and shit. 
you can find almost anything in a box, okay? I mean, like, sometimes you can get disappointed by a box. Like, one time, right, I got a present for Christmas when I was a kid, right? And the box, it said, I forgot what it said, but it was something really awesome. It was a really cool box. But then I opened it and the thing was lame. Well, I mean, compared to what that was, I enjoyed what was in the box, duh. Yeah, actually, I remember the story now. It was an iPhone box, but then I opened it and it was like Griff Certificates to Chuck E. Cheese or something. I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed it, but like, yeah, it was lame. For me at the time, that is. See, boxes can be misleading, right? If I take out this box, I cover this up, all right? Okay. Well, if you're not paying attention, like I was, and you see this Dell, and you may be thinking, Goji, what the fuck? You got a computer? No, it was just a bag. Just a bag. No computer. Just a bag. Speaking of drinks. And you know what? There are so many things that pretend to be bags, too. Like, take this paper bag, for example, okay? It's the same color as a conventional box. They're made out of the same shit. Well, I mean, you know, this one's cardboard, and this is paper. But they're basically the same thing. Because, you see, a paper bag is meant to carry shit. But I'm just using it to cover my bottle of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you thought. No, you didn't. I know you didn't. But it's cool to think. Anyway, the thing about boxes is that, like, we even take them on the go with us. Like, see? Check this out. This is a box. Okay, you mean thinking, Goji, no. That's your backpack that you use for school. No. This is a box with straps. Okay, because in my, in my opinion, right? With my logic, this is a box. Okay, this little paper bag, this is a box. Okay, it's just a liquid form of a box. Okay? We know got the solid state of matter, okay, which is a box, cardboard, okay, cardboard, plastic, metal, whatever. That's the solid state of gas, I mean, of a box, okay. And then a bag like this, right? This is a liquid state of box, all right? Stay with me. And then think of something like when someone says that they're boxed in, okay? When someone says that they're boxed in, that means that it, they're in a mental box, okay? Like, um, like say that you feel trapped in an open room, okay? That is the air state of a box, or uh, your mental state, okay? Like, um, and then plasma, okay? The plasma form of a box is a microwave. And you know what? Box doesn't even really always mean this. What do you call a fighter that only fights using his fists? You call him a boxer. And what is one of the strongest, I mean, what is one of the meanest looking dogs on the planet? That's right, a chihuahua. But for the sake of our argument, we will say a boxer. Picture here. A d f a they kind of look like pit bulls to me, man. I don't know. And what do you call the lady parts when you're trying to be all gentleman-like, but you're also a mover? A box. I just put a stake in the box. Yeah. I'm gonna get lazy. What out the mojo deals? We're tripping like the A's. You suck a brother's soul. Got the cash out. Told him wipe a brother nose. Got the cash out. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed She was looking kinda dumb with her finger in